everyone so September what a month it has been it's been a very very good one but also a very good one beauty wise and I've got some bits here that I've been grabbing a lot this month and there's some old favorites quite a few new things in there and also a retraction to be issued to a certain foundation so I'm gonna get kicked off with hair care and the first thing is this and it's the bumble and bumble thickening dry spun finish and this launched onto shelves this month and I've been waiting for Bumble and Bumble to kind of join the volumizing, dry, texturizing spray gang along with like Orbe and Oscar Blondie and Serge Norman and all the other ones that are just generally awesome. Um, and this is pretty darn awesome too. I've got it in my hair today and I have done a review of this on my blog so I'll link that up below but I'd say this is more for if you've got quite fine textured hair and you just need something that's kind of going to give it a bit of lift and that kind of airy feel to it whereas something like the Obey has more grip to it and it's kind of better if you have thicker hair like me but I like this kind of more on the roots and then I use the Obey through the lengths which is a bit you know it's a bit excessive but it does work but I really like this one as a more kind of everyday oomph for my locks and then on to a body thing and this might be a bit random um, but it's a deodorant and if you guys have read my blog I think I've spoken about my deodorant a few times on there and I'm a big fan of the Mitchum 48 hour deodorant but I've been doing a little bit of research into more kind of natural alternatives recently and this just kept on popping up as like the top one and I'm so pleased I gave it a go and it's the Soap Walla deodorant cream and it looks I'll spare you like a very long look at this but it's kind of just like a creamy balm that when you put your finger in it kind of melts to more of like an oil and then you just put that under your pits basically. It smells incredible, it's got like peppermint and rosemary and all sorts in it. I've done a blog post on this as well so I will link that up below but it just does what it says on the tin, it's not an antiperspirant so it's not going to stop you sweating but it is a deodorant so when you do sweat it kind of neutralises the odour so you're not like smelling yourself or anything gross like that. So I really like this and I would definitely suggest it if you are looking for a more natural deodorant. This is a really nice. From the reviews that I've read, I know that some people have reacted to it. It's got a lot of essential oils in and can be quite drying. So that's definitely something to think about, but I haven't had that problem. I obviously have very hardy armpits. And then onto something else which smells incredible as well. And it's the, um, this works, deep sleep, stress less, rollable. I think this is my third one of this and I've definitely mentioned it in a monthly favourites video before, I'm sure I have. Um, I go through these quite quickly, it's just a mix of kind of like peppermint and lavender and it's just oils that you can like roll around and just make you feel generally amazing. I purchased this because before I flew to New York I hadn't been on a plane for over a year I think it was and you know when you get older and you start to get scared of these things and I was being a bit of a like ooh, a bit angsty about it so I got this just because I thought I can chill myself out on the flight with this and it actually really worked whenever there was like turbulence I was like sniffing it and Lily had hers as well we were like sniffing our little rollerballs but it is really really nice for that so also for sleep I kind of roll this over the corner of my pillow and makes me go to sleep quite quickly so I like that one as well. Then onto a skincare favourite though this is more of kind of an all-rounder product and it's the Joseph Marin 100% um, pure argan oil and I picked up another one of these when I was in New York and I also picked up the light version of it as well and I just think it's really really good. Number one it comes in loads of different like sizes so there's kind of something for every budget I think this was only about $14 so it's quite small but you really just need a tiny, tiny drop of this and I've been using this on the ends of my hair, though you need to watch out, literally one drop will do like someone with my length of hair, hair that's, that's all you need. Um, I've also been using it on my cuticles but the main thing I've been using it for is just as like a moisturiser, like oil on my face. The light one is really good for if you want to use an oil in the morning and then this one is good if you want to use an oil in the evening. So I use serum oil and then a moisturiser and it's just been giving my skin that like extra bit of juice that it needed, especially with the flying, like it just kind of put all the moisture back in. And the good news is that you can actually pick this up from the Net-A-Porter website. You can't pick up this size but I think you can pick up the size above it which is around 30-ish pounds I think so I will link that up below for you guys. And then onto my makeup favourites and this is the retraction because in the past this product has been featured by me in a products not worth the hype video I think. It was either that or disappointing products. I've got a feeling it was products not worth the hype and 
When I first got it, I was not feeling it at all. I just thought it was a bit greasy on my skin. It didn't last very long. I wasn't really wowed. And I actually ended up giving that bottle to a friend. And then kind of, that was like over a year ago now and my makeup tastes have changed so much. I used to be into like quite a matte finish, lots of powder, like a very heavy foundation. So I don't think this was ever at the time gonna be a foundation that I loved. But now I like something a little bit lighter, a little bit more sheerer, kind of like tinted moisturizer, like light foundation hybrids. And this, I can now see what all the fuss is about. And it's the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua. I have the shade B20 of this, just kind of on a whim. I just thought, you know what, things have changed. Maybe I should give this another go. Picked it up again, so impressed. And over the last month, um, this and the YSL Tint Du Chiclet, I've kind of been like changing up between the two have been my top two foundations. And I think I took this to New York with me. I think it's all I wore when I went to New York. It's just a really good color match for my skin. And yes, the lasting power is still isn't there, but with anything that's got kind of quite a dewy, glowy finish to it, you're never gonna have like hours and hours of wear that just doesn't happen. So, and it's really small and like portable, so it's okay to just throw in a bag. And if you need to put a bit more on, like later in the day, you can. But I really like this. It's quite a gel consistency, gel like cream. And then you just massage it into your face. I find it blends in best with fingers. And it just leaves a really nice skin-like, no makeup, makeup finish. So Chanel Vitalumia Aqua, I'm sorry, I hope we can be friends now. Then something I have wanted for the longest time and I actually managed to find my shade when I was in New York is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and you've heard the raves, you've heard everyone go wild over it, I'm here to tell you it's true, it is blooming amazing, it is so nice, it's just quite covering but at the same time like doesn't look heavy it doesn't crease doesn't look cakey on the skin i've been using this on blemishes i actually have a spot on my head today and i managed to kind of cover it up with this and i've been using it on my baggy eyes too so it's kind of the best of both worlds and it's nice to have a concealer that's pretty good at doing like both jobs that you need a concealer for but it's a pain in the ass to get hold of it in the uk at the moment apparently they're having huge stocking issues, like I went into Space NK, different Space NKs, probably like five, six times, like asking for the shade and none of them had, oh this is vanilla by the way, none of them had vanilla in stock and apparently there's a stocking issue, they didn't realise it would be so popular and they've just sold out. But if you can find it in your shade, I'd highly recommend picking it up because it's just a really nice all round a concealer. Okay, so I just had a quick pins and needles break, but now they are gone, I'm trying to remember where I got to, and I think I got to these, and these are the Rimmel uh, Moisture Renew lipsticks, and they've kind of revamped the whole line, added some new shades in, and the official launch date for these is the 2nd of October, but you know what it's like with these things, they kind of trickle into Boots and Superdrug sometimes before, and I was lucky enough to have a little preview of them, and I'm very impressed, and my favorite shades from the bunch are this one, which is called Coral Britannia, which reminds me of this Notting Hill nude shade that everyone kind of goes on about. It's kind of like pinky peach. It's very similar to MAC Shy Girl. It's kind of in between MAC Shy Girl and MAC Hue. This is like their lipstick baby. And I've done a post on how I think that some of these are kind of MAC dupes. So I will link that up below. And this is my favorite, favorite color from the line and it's called In Love With Ginger. Look at that. And it's basically MAC Morange, but for like half the price. And the finishes are the same. The color is practically spot on the same. So impressed with these. And they're nice nourishing on the lips. They're a little bit glossy. It means that they're not the most long lasting, so they've got a bit of shine to them, but you're gonna get a few hours of wear out of these. So definitely worth stalking out the aisles of Boots and Superdrug for these. Now the final favourite is something a little bit different and I've never given gel nail polish a go before. I find it's a little bit pricey to get it done regularly in a salon and the idea of keeping a nail colour for like three weeks, you know, I like to change it up quite a bit. But I have been converted with this and it's the Red Carpet Gel Polish Pro Kit and this is like a box that has everything you need in. It's got like a light, it's got the removers, it's got the pre-cleanser thing, it's got colour, um, it's got all the like little gel bits and bobs you get in it. 
and the colour you get in it is actually, it's this colour here which is called Red Carpet Ready, Ready with two Ds, I like that. Haven't given that colour a go yet, I have given this one a go and this is In Style which is like a very vampy shade and I've got that on my toes right now. And then when I received the kit, I was like, I want to use it right now, but I want a summery colour. So I went out and picked up this, and I've got this in John Lewis, I think it is. And the polishes are around £10, and this is in the shade Oola Licious, and this is amazing. And on my toes it lasted a good kind of three weeks, and it wasn't even the fact that it chipped, it was the fact that kind of the cuticle and the colour gap got a bit gross, and so you have to kind of start again. I haven't given it a go on my nails yet, I think for me this is strictly going to be toenail thing which sounds a bit weird but I hate painting my toenails I just think it's so boring and so dull and anything that means that I can cut down on that is a good thing and mainly for the reason that I like to change things up on my fingernails a bit more frequently and I like to try new colour of polishes and all that kind of stuff and also for the fact that I have heard that these kinds of things can create a bit of damage which I haven't had so far but I think repeated use can make your nails a bit gross and so with my toenails that's fine but with my fingernails I've worked hard on these bad boys so that they look average okay and I don't really want to mess that up. But that is everything. I hope you guys have had a good month too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.